We have a customer that came in a couple of days ago and he wants us to build him a custom built computer. Uh, he said he does not want anything too bulky. He does not want anything too flashy. He's not a heavy gamer, but he does want to use it for gaming. He just wants a fast computer overall and he wants the computer to look nice. So uh, we gave him the options. We told him what we can do for him. He agreed. And uh, I went home and I started to look for a nice looking case. I've used a lot of cases in the past, but I wanted to have something unique for that customer. I want to have something that looks nice and something the customer is going to be pleased with. I came across the Thermaltake V250 mid-tower case and I thought it looks awesome. I haven't bought this case before. I have not worked on this case before. I went to YouTube to see what this case is about and uh, to my surprise, I was not able to find a single review about this case except for videos made by Thermaltake where Thermaltake is advertising the case and how the case looks like, so on and so forth. But I was not able to find a real life scenario, somebody using the case to see how it looks like or somebody that would tell me how that case is like. The case includes three RGB fans in the front and one non-RGB fan in the back. The RGB colors can be controlled by a button on the top. They will not sing with the Asus Aura motherboards, but you can control the lights from the top. There is a lot of options. I think 27 modes as specified in the description here. You can also add two 140 millimeter fans on the top, but honestly, three fans in the front, one fan in the back is more than sufficient for most people. And you can see the square, the red square on the button. This is where you control the lights on the front RGB fans. You have the fan controller located on the back of the case. It looks like we have a lot of room for cabling and we can also fit two hard drives size 2.5 inches. I honestly think the customer is going to be very pleased with the case. Now in the picture you see the Thermaltake added two RGB fans on the top. The case does not come with two RGB fans on the top and it doesn't come with an RGB fan on the back. We only have three RGB fans in the front and one non-RGB fan in the back. That's it. That's the case. So the case will arrive empty, three fans in the front, one fan in the back. So honestly, the case looks amazing and I do not need anything more than this. The customer does not need anything more than this. Customer does not need anything too big, anything too flashy. He just wants something basic, simple, a computer he can use for gaming as well as doing everything else on it. So I thought the case is going to be a perfect fit and I went ahead and ordered the case. I was a little bit skeptical about the case after reading the reviews, even though the case has a four star rating from 31 customers. The first review you see is a two star review. And, uh, <laughs> and that's how the mind play games on people buying stuff online or on people reading reviews online. The guy is talking about how disappointed he was. The case does not look like the pictures. Of course, it's not going to look like the pictures. The case is going to arrive empty. It's not going to have any lights. It's not going to have the extra two RGB fans on the top. It's not going to have an RGB fan on the back. It's not going to come pre-lit with electricity. That as soon as you take it out of the box, you're going to see everything shining and everything is looking good. Of course not. The case is going to arrive empty. So as soon as I read the first comment by the customer, I knew that review is, it doesn't make sense. The second thing the buyer is complaining about is the quality of the case, how cheap the case is, how flexible the metal is. Uh, the standoffs are out of whack here. The quality seemed cheap. The metal is flexible and did not have the solid feel of other cases I have used. The metal was twisted, very flexible in some areas. The sandoffs were all sort out of whack. I mean, when you read something like this, you think the case is going to arrive in a very bad shape. Heavy case does not make a good case. I'm honestly a fan of light cases. I do not like heavy cases. The glass panel is heavy. Okay, the guy is complaining that the metal is not heavy, the case is not heavy. But now he's also complaining how the front tempered glass panel is heavy. All right. Lastly, this is the most frustrating part. I put the PC together outside the case to confirm all worked before installation. But when the customer installed the motherboard inside the case, the case stopped turning on. <laughs> And then he found out that the power cable was not connected properly. I mean, when I read the review, I knew I should buy this case. And I did. So what's the worst that can happen? And honestly, I'm amazed by the way the case looks. I'm not doing any advertisements for Thermaltake. Thermaltake is not paying me to do this. I did not find any reviews about the case on YouTube. So I thought I should make a review because a lot of people are going to benefit from this review. So without wasting too much time, let's take a look at the build and see how it came out.
and that's how the case looks like. That's the first impression. When customer comes here to pick up the case, that's what they're going to see. Look at how beautiful the tinted tempered glass is. That's beautiful. Three RGB fans in the front, and the fans can be controlled via this button on the top, right here. So if I press it once, we switch to red. I press it again. I press it again. 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 Off. You have 27 modes. So if we look here, the heat sink and the fan, the lights on there can be controlled via the Asus Aura program. Same thing goes for the RAM. And video card is down here. Everything looks super neat. Maybe I should open it to show you how it looks like from the inside. I downloaded the Asus Aura software. And let's go, for example, uh, Starry Night. And we're going to apply. Let's see how it changes. OK, let's choose another. OK, this is a blinking one. So lights on the heatsink, the fan, and the RAM can be controlled by the Asus Aura software. And there are a lot of options to control the light. Now, the fans in the front cannot be controlled via the Asus Aura software. They are just an RGB fans that can be controlled from the top here. The customer said it's okay. Uh, he doesn't care if he can control those lights via the software or not, but he can control the heatsink, the fan, and the RAM via the software. So that's how the case looks like. This is the power supply window here. Maybe we should take off the tempered glass so you can see how it looks like on the inside. We have to remove four screws, two from the top and two from the bottom. The glass is not clear. It has like a, like a slight tint to it, which I love. Because when there are no lights inside the computer, the inside looks stealth. It looks uh, like a shadowy dark, which I love. Now that we took the tempered glass out, that's how the computer looks like from the inside. We did an excellent job with the way the wires are laid out. Everything is super clean. You only see the main power cable here, and we have the video card cable here. We wrapped it with this mesh that you see, so everything looks nice and neat. And build looks awesome. The build looks awesome. I'm going to put the tempered glass back. All right, so I put the tempered glass back. There's nothing I would change on that case. That's how the back looks like. Very clean finish. And like I said, when all the lights are off, it looks stealth. I like the way it looks because of the tint on the tempered glass. We have vents in the front here. The case is raised, so we have room on the bottom for good airflow. We have this dust filter on the top here. And we also have one on the bottom of the case. Let me turn off the computer. Let's wait until it goes off. And that's what I'm talking about, the stealth look. I mean, you can't even see the fans in the front because of the tinted tempered glass. All right, I'm curious to know the weight of the case with everything inside. Motherboard, heatsink, fan, video card, RAM, power supply. We're going to put it on the scale and see how much it weights. We can use the scale here and let's turn it on. Let's see how much it weighs. So 22 pounds. 22 pounds.
with everything inside. That's it. That's my review for the Thermaltake V250. I hope somebody will find this video useful. Let me know what you think about the case down in the comments. Time to go home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.